Hey everyone, okay, I'm gonna to talk to you today about methylation, the MTHFR gene mutation, and histamine intolerance. So we all have genes, we all have mutations in some of those genes, and with histamine intolerance, one of the most common mutations I see is the MTHFR gene mutation. So the MTHFR gene is responsible for methylation. So that's basically the process of turning um, folic acid into methylfolate. So basically a usable form of folate. So methylation is really important for repairing damaged cells, um, hormone metabolism, detoxification, and uh, basically metabolizing B vitamins. So it's really important. There's a lot of other processes that it's, it's used for, but those are kind of the, the key ones. So methylation problems lead to a buildup in histamine because your body can't break it down. Your body can't get rid of toxins easily. So if you've ever noticed, if you have histamine intolerance, that you tend to be very sensitive, um, you're chemically sensitive or you're sensitive to supplements, it's usually because you're having a problem with methylation. So when your body takes something in, it doesn't push it out. And that's why one person can be completely fine with perfume and another person is dying smelling the perfume because we just hold on to it and we can't push it out. I have this gene mutation and I would say probably 95% of the people I work with with histamine intolerance and mast cell activation syndrome also have this gene mutation. So what do you do about it? First of all, you, you can actually test for it. You can do it on a blood test um, or for about the same price of the blood test, you could go through 23andMe, they send you a cheek swab, and then what they do is they give you something called raw data. So the, you take the raw data and you put it into a third party company and that company will give you a whole printout of all your genetic SNPs or mutations that you have. So I like the company Stratagene from Dr. Ben Lynch um, because a lot of these companies will give you, you know, 50 supplements to take based on your genetic makeup which can be kind of insane and he does not do that, which is great because just because you have a genetic mutation, it does not mean that it's actually affecting you. So the one thing that I really like about the MTHFR gene mutation is you can find out not only if you have it, but if it's affecting you. So the way that I do this is I test something called homocysteine and you test that in the blood. And if that's over a seven, especially if it's getting over a 10, you know, 12, anything higher than that, the chances are you are not methylating properly and you need to do something about it. So luckily there is a pretty easy fix for this. Um, it's, you know, basically you want to eat a lot of leafy greens because they can, they contain folate. You do not want to take full at full acid in that form. So if you're taking B vitamins, check and make sure there is no full acid in them. Um, same with your multivitamin. It has to say that it's methylated. Um, and so you do this, you want to start working on your detox pathways. So we've talked about the liver and its importance. Um, I use this, my supplement Liver Love with my patients. It's found on my website, but you can use castor oil packs, infrared saunas, dry brushing, Epsom salt baths. All those things are very supportive to, to your liver. Um, so, you know, if you have this issue, uh, you know, it, it will make it a lot easier to control your histamine intolerance or get your histamine intolerance in check if you are supporting this gene mutation at the same time. Thanks for watching and let me know if there's any questions you guys have that I can answer.